Life, that must be some book. Yeah, because it's giving you some bump. <laughs> Actually, it is a great book. Famished Fest. <gasps> Didn't they make that into a movie? Yes, and it opens tonight. Young me, Jasper, and I are going to go see it. So we have to finish reading it today. Too bad school will interrupt your reading. Well, lucky for me, today's a half day. The teachers have to stay and do a bunch of teacher stuff, so we get to go home. Cool, huh? Uh, the teachers stay after school and the students get to go home? <laughs> Just when I think I have things figured out. <clears throat> well, I should have plenty of time today to finish my book before the movie. <sighs> Finally, I'll find out if Annabelle can quash the rebellion and free Fergus in time to save their sector. See ya! Hi, Mrs. T. Bye, Mrs. T. Your... <laughs> Come on. Goodbye, Blythe, and hello, pets! We've got a new camper today. Everyone, this is Captain Cuddles. His owner tells me he's a European polecat. Trez Chic. <laughs> hello. As the pretty lady said, my name is Captain Cuddles. So nice to meet you all. Right back at you. Charmed. Hiya. How are you today? I'm Vinny. Hi. In your eyes, the blue skies are calling your name, and it oh, feels me. like it's never. Go! Go! Oh, what a strangely fascinating creature. You think about all the things that you love to do, it all comes true. It will be delivered on the 24th. Today's the 23rd. What? It's the 24th? Shoot. Uh, uh, okay, let me find that address. Uh, I'll call you back. <sighs> now, where did I put that note? <sighs> Buttercream, look at you. Aha, uh -huh. there's that address. Hmm. Buttercream, I don't know what I'd do without you. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> what in the world is the matter with you, Pepper? You acted so silly toward Captain Cuddles. Well, it's what I am, right? Silly. Look, I don't think Captain Cuddles is cute, and and and, and I don't like him in any way. Got it? Uh, as Blythe would say, what the huh? Pepper, did you know that skunks are sometimes called polecats? Hey, Captain Cuddles! Russell, why are you calling him over here? We? Oui? Ah! Oh, prickly, prickly, ow, ow, pain, ow, hurts. Ah! Ah! I was just telling Pepper that sometimes skunks are called polecats, and you're a European polecat. Ah, yes. But alas, skunks and polecats are not related by species. I am more of a... How do you say? A weasel. <laughs> you call yourself a weasel. <laughs> yes, and uh, you are a skunk. I find you very... Uh, how shall I say? A skunky. In your eyes, the blue skies are calling your name. Weasel! Go! What was that about? 
Isn't it obvious, darling? Peppers and Major like with Captain Cuddles. <laughs> Hi, Peppers, Kunky Pepper. Buttercream came in here to be alone. Then I guess this isn't the place for you. I came in here because I'm feeling downsy and bluish and frownsy, not fluish. What? What? <laughs> Anywho, Aunt Christie's busy as a bee, and I've got a hankering for some quing quang quality human time. Well, you're in luck. Blythe's coming home from school early today. Sure, she'll hang with you. Really? Sounds like my bluesies will be pixies. So, uh, what about you, Peppermo Pepper? Why are you in the hydrant hideout? Just don't want to see Captain Cuddles anymore for the rest of the day, or the rest of my life. What, Sir Captain Cuddles? Just the dreamiest, most handsomest European pole cat that's ever come into the day camp. <laughs> wow, Papa! Sounds like you should be spending the day with him. I wonder what that would be like. Fantasy. Yeah, well, who asked ya? Why don't you mind your own P's and Q's? And that goes the same for your P's! <laughs> Time for me to skedaddle. See you later, Grumpy Grumpster. I wouldn't go in there if I were you. And also, and besides, I wouldn't go in there if I weren't you. I know just the thing to shake Pepper out of her skunk funk. A makeover? Really? I don't know. Oh, come on, you two. It'll be fun. Meet me in the grooming area in ten minutes. I sure hope she knows what she's doing! Hi guys! I'm gonna run upstairs and finish my book before the movie tonight. Well, you better make it quick. Something's wrong with Pepper. She's in the fire hydrant. Oh no. Is Pepper sick? She's got butterflies in her tummy, and her head's all swirly on account of the cuddly captain. <laughs> um, Buttercream? What are you doing? Pepper said you'd hang out with me today to turn my frownsy upside downsy. Uh, what about Aunt Christy? Ah, she knows I'm over here. Oh, pleasey, pleasey, Cousin Weezy, spend the day with me. Well, okay, but first I've got to check on Pepper. Not to worry, Blythe. On it! I do have to finish my book. Uh, okay, Buttercream. We can hang out for a little while. Alrighty, exciting! 100 pages to go and 5 hours till movie time. Hope I can do it. No. Psst. Psst. Huh? Excuse me, gentlemen. Mm -mm. What is it, Zoe? Russell, I want you to know that soon you are going to see a new and very girly pepper. Uh, really? Yes. And what I need you to do is to take Captain Cuddles aside and let him know, in a very subtle and roundabout way, that Pepper likes him. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> and I cannot stress this enough. It's important that you handle this discreetly and that you break this information to him gently. Now, can you do that? <laughs> of course I can do that. <laughs> no. Oh, uh, hey, Captain. Oui? Pepper likes you. Oh, well, thank you for this information. No problemo. Um. 
This is just what this bunny needed. <laughs> Some quality human time. <sighs> Excuse me, Buttercream. Hello? Oh, hey, young me. Okay, I know you want to talk about the book before we go see the movie, but I haven't finished it yet, so don't. Really? That happened? No, don't tell me. I'm hanging up now. I'll see you later tonight. I have got to finish my book. Life. Oh, sorry. I love grooming time. <laughs> I hate grooming time. This isn't a grooming pepper. It's a makeover. Well, whatever you call it. I don't like it. Just hold still while I put the finishing touches on your lashes and... Voila. Wow. Oh, oh, pepper. <laughs> Are you ready to see the new you, Pepper? Sure, I guess so. Check you out! Oh, here, Zoe, you handed me a picture of a pretty skunk instead of a mirror. That's no pretty skunk, Pepper. It's you! Whoa. It is me. How do you feel? Well, I feel the same, but... You sure all this makeup and junk will make the captain like me? Absolutely. Okay, let me go punch him in the arm and see what happens. No! <laughs> There are a few things we need to go over with you before you're ready for the captain. my computer. Hi, Jasper. Oh, I'll probably never get this old rich monster. <laughs> now, Pepper, to discuss how to achieve maximum cuteness at all times, Penny Ling. Well, Pepper, the main thing you have to remember is to always make Captain Cuddles feel like he's the center of your attention. And you don't think an arm punch tells him that. <laughs> ha! No! No! The way to achieve this is to... You might want to write this down. Never, I mean always, act like everything he says is funny. Everything he says. Wait, everything he says? Yes, every joke he tells is the most hilarious one you've ever heard. Well, I doubt that's going to be the case. Oh, well, you don't really have to believe it. Then why would I laugh? Because he'll like it. Well, I'm not going to laugh at something that's not funny. That's not important. Because I know what's funny, and I can't laugh at what's not funny. Why not? I do it all the time. I'm a comedian. <laughs> you can't tell me to laugh at what isn't funny. It's like telling a scientist not to be sciency or telling flowers not to smell. Though I don't know how they can smell anyway since they don't have noses. This could take a while. It's like telling a handyman to be unhandy or telling a sheep not to be sheep. So what? You finished the book, right? Can you believe the book? I haven't finished it yet. What? Uh, but the big... Blah. And then the... Blah. I had no idea that... Blah, 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 blah. Real mature, Blythe. Bye, Jasper. See you later. Uh, but... uh, uh, I've so got to finish my book. Blah, blah, blah. Good luck. <laughs> Messieurs, I wonder if you could help me with something. Of course. What's on your mind? Well, I am wondering, uh, why do I find this pepper so... Uh, uh, how do you say it? Attractive. I have no idea. That is a good question. Pepper? Well, you must admit that there is something about her. I can't admit that. I don't see it. Pepper? I would tell her, but I don't really know how. Oh, forget I brought it up. Forgotten. It is done, my friend. Pepper? Okay, Pepper. Minka has some invaluable advice about how to keep Captain Cuddles interested. Yeah, so here it is. What I want you to do, Pepper, is just keep the conversation moving along. Oh, uh, keep the conversation. Don't write that down! I want you to keep all this locked up in that newly beautified, not so little head of yours. So, when you and the captain are together, you want to keep things lively. And if there's a dull spot, fill it in with a woohoo! Or a zippity zinga! Yeah, woohoo! Zippity zinga! But 
be careful not to work up a sweat and smear your makeup. Oh, no, of course not. And don't forget to add a little giggle here and there while remaining very ladylike. Oh, yeah, giggle. Very ladylike. Remain focused, but pretty. Focused, pretty. The center of your attention. Careful not to smear your makeup. Everybody, and and but the be careful not to work up a sweat. <laughs> Okay, Pepper. Are you ready to go find the captain and let him meet the all-new Pepper? Zippity pretty lady power captain comes black and everything. Dippy Zinga! <laughs> I think this is going to work out just fine. Well, Buttercream, we played four games of butterscotch, watched three of your favorite Animal Network shows, and had lots and lots of grooming time. It's been oodles of ages since Aunt Christy did that kind of stuff with me. Speaking of Aunt Christy, we'd better get you home. I'm sure she's missing you. I'm not. What's that? Oh, well, I was just thinking thinking. I want you to be my owner. Who to the what now? Uh, <laughs> it's just my blazy bunny. <laughs> Buttercream, please, can I just carry you? Sure, Oodles, carry me back to your place. Buttercream, you have to go home. And Christy would miss you so much if you stopped being her pet bunny. That's what you say, say you were. She probably hasn't even noticed that this hair is not there. But with all her ringers and dingers and smarty pants phones. <laughs> Oops, that's my smarty pants phone. Hello? Oh, really? Uh, hold on, let me put you on speakerphone. Now, what were you saying, Aunt Christy? Like that Buttercream's done playing with her friends in the pet shop. Could you bring her home? Sure, but she wasn't with the pets today. She was with me. She said, uh, I mean, I got the feeling she needed a little human time. Really? But I just played with her. Oh, two days ago. Oh, shoot. Well, I'm going to cancel the rest of my day and engage in a little quality bunny time. Good to know. We'll be right there. There you are. I missed you, Buttercream. Uh-oh. The itch monster's back. I've got this one. <laughs> You slayed the itch monster. Thanks so much for spending time with Buttercream today, Blythe. No problem. We had a lot of fun, didn't we? Oh, and have fun at the movie tonight. Wasn't the book great? Oh, I cannot believe Annabelle used Wallabaloo to free Fergus and save her scepter. You did finish the book, didn't you? Uh-uh. <laughs> Cupcake? Well, there he is, Pepper. I can see. Don't push. Don't push. You can do it. Just remember, laugh at his jokes. No lulls. Look pretty. And no arm punches. Okay. <sighs> okay. Wow. Look at Pepper. Hello, Captain Cuddles. Uh, hello, uh, Pepper. <laughs> what is so funny? You are. You're very funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh... <clears throat> What have you been doing all day, Captain Cuddles? I'm sure something very, very interesting. <laughs> uh, well, um, let me see. I, uh... <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, well, uh, do you know any funny jokes? I love the good jokes. You do? Oh, I mean, I don't know any funny jokes. Oh. I see. But do you like my flower? <laughs> it is not a joke with the water in the face, no? No, it's not. <laughs> I must go. Well, how do you like that? <laughs> All my hard work right out the window. I'm sorry, Pepper. You did good with the lulls. <sighs> Thanks for all your help, but I think maybe I just got to figure out how to be my own girly girl. The girls told me you were over here. Hi, Blythe. Did you finish your book? Someone finished it for me. Huh? 
Never mind. What's been going on with you? Ah, uh, the girls tried to help me be girly. That didn't work. Well, how come? I don't know. I guess I'm just not girly. <laughs> sure you are. Yeah, but not in the ways they wanted me to be. Then be girly in the way that you want to be. There's no one way to be girly. Really? Well, I do like this flower. And this eyeshadow is a good color for me. And I do like giggling with the captain. And I bet he likes giggling with you. Tell you what, you girl yourself up any way you want. Then go and reintroduce yourself to Captain Cuddles. I'll do it! Hiya, Captain Cuddles. Um, let me reintroduce myself. I'm Pepper. Oh, me no. <laughs> Don't worry. I won't punch you in the arm. Oh, <laughs> That flower, it, uh, it brings out your eyes. I like it. Yeah? <laughs> Me too. So, Pepper, know any good jokes? Do I? Have you heard the one about the skunk and the European polecat? Why, no. How does it end? Well, I tell you, but I'm afraid to give away the punchline. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. See what I did there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. She remembered to laugh. No lulls. And she went with the flower and a little shadow. <gasps> I'm so proud. Looks like she found a way to be her own girly girl. Pepper? <laughs>